For today's story, there is a big debate about Oxford being Shakespeare. Now, let's start from the basics. Shakespeare has written over 41 plays and various other pieces of literature throughout his lifetime. Throughout the years, there has been a lot of speculation around if Shakespeare really did write the plays or they were just published under his name. There have been many theories around who wrote the plays, ranging from Hamlet to Queen Elizabeth. Although throughout all the people, there is one who stands out. This person is the Earl of Oxford. Yes, it is true that these debates are rising, but there are strong theories in their direction. The Earl of Oxford was born on April 12, 1550, and died on June 24, 1604. In his life, he has had two wives and five children. Oxford attended four colleges, one being Cambridge. Throughout his life, he was known for being an incredible writer, even though no piece of literature was published under his name. There is strong evidence around why the Earl of Oxford may have written the Shakespeare plays. So, what are some reasons Oxford wrote the plays, you may be asking? Number one, Shakespeare was a very popular pseudonym name used in the Elizabethan era due to the fact that it was a reference to Athena, the Greek goddess holding a spear. This shows that Oxford could have used Shakespeare as a pseudonym when he wrote the plays at the time. The second theory of why Oxford wrote the plays has to do with the similarity between Oxford and Hamlet. In Hamlet, the story has a plot twist of which the main character being captured by pirates and left naked on the shore of Denmark, while Oxford had been captured by pirates and left on the shore of Denmark as well. Major coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. The third theory of why Oxford wrote the play has to do with one of Shakespeare's plays called The Taming of the Shrew which features a rich man named Baptista Minola, who had two daughters named Kate and Bianca. In Italy, Oxford borrowed money from two men, one named Pasquale Spinola and another man named Baptista Negron, whose names could have been inspired by Baptista Minola's name. I mean, Baptista is from Baptista, while Minola is a spin-off of Spinola. Whoa. The fourth theory of why Oxford wrote the plays has to do with another example from the play Hamlet. In Hamlet, the Polonius, who was a character in Hamlet, mentions young men falling out at tennis. This could be referring to a famous incident in which Oxford had with another man named Sir Philip Sidney. The two of them hated each other for many reasons like both of them wanting to marry the Burgley's daughter, and both of them also having different political and literature views. Due to the fact of them hating each other with passion, and future plays written by Shakespeare, Sir Philip Sidney was portrayed as the so-called villain. And now, for our fifth and final theory of why Oxford wrote the plays. There is a play called King Lear, which had to do with a king named Lear, who had three daughters. Oxford also had three daughters, strangely enough. And just as Lear divided his kingdom among his daughters while he still lived, Oxford placed his family lands in trust for the benefit of his daughters while he lived. With all this evidence and theories of Oxford being Shakespeare, how could you deny that he was not truly the writer? I guess it is up to us to decide whether it was him or not. That leaves us with our final question. What do you think? <laughs>